Electronics are everywhere. From mobile phones to laptops, electronic devices depend on precisely manufactured circuit boards. PCM in Springfield, Vermont uses a highly technical process to manufacture circuit boards. Modern electronic systems are built on printed circuit boards, or PCBs. PCBs are made of a composite material, such as fiberglass, with copper conductors on both sides that connect electronic components placed on the board. The principal function of electronic assembly is to place the components in their correct locations on the PC and create the solder electrical interconnection, thus creating a functioning circuit. Each circuit board is made up of passive components, such as resistors and capacitors, and the more designed integrated circuits, or ICs. Components can be one of two types, surface mount or through hole. Through hole components are the components with long leads that are connected to a circuit board by inserting and soldering them into pre-punched holes on a PCB. Because of decreasing size requirements, almost all circuit boards use surface mount over through hole components. In this video, we will take a look at the manufacturing process of surface mount boards. Solder paste is a highly designed alloy of tin, silver, and copper mixed into an intermediate flux, designed to melt at low temperatures in order to attach components to circuit boards, connecting them physically and electrically. Creating soldered connections requires solder metals and flux chemicals, which clean the surfaces. For surface mount components, solder paste supplies both these materials. To begin the process, the PCB is loaded into the printer and then a vision system correctly aligns the board with the stencil. Once the board and stencil are properly aligned, the solder paste is spread over the stencil by a squeegee. The solder should have uniform depth and volume across the board. After printing, the stencil is separated from the board, leaving solder paste bricks on the board. Component placement is the next step in the process. Especially with the ever decreasing component size, precision is a key aspect of this step. The stencil printed PCB is loaded to the appropriate position by a board indexing process. The board is locked down on the machine and all of the anticipated component locations are identified by the vision system. Components are then picked up from feeders and centered so that they are at a known distance from the component target as defined in the program. An automated vacuum nozzle picks up each component and brings it to the target X and Y location. The feeders have been designed to quickly snap into and out of the component placement machine. This greatly reduces setup times for different circuit boards. When all components are successfully placed, the whole assembly is ready to move to the refill process. After component placement, the next step is the reflow oven. The reflow oven's purpose is to heat up and melt the solder under the surface mount components to make connections to the PCB. The reflow oven is fed with a PCB, which travels through different temperature zones inside the oven. Finally, cooling begins as the board continues through the cooling zone. During cooling, the liquid solder solidifies, forming the final solder connection, and the board is nearly finished. After coming out of the reflow oven, boards go through several stages of testing and inspections. Next, the boards are inspected. At PCM, inspection is performed by automated optical methods. Here, the inspection machine autonomously scans the PCB for scratches and defects. The system can compare it to a perfect board in order to quickly identify errors. If at any point the board fails testing or inspection, it is sent for rework where they are repaired. Otherwise, the board is complete and ready for shipment. Engineers line balance each step so that they take about the same cycle time, streamlining the entire process and optimizing productivity. At PCM, the electronic assembly line is able to produce anywhere from 200 to 1,000 printed circuit boards every day. Next time you use your cell phone, just think of all the technical intricacies beneath your fingertips.